Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. The timing is fluid. And then we're going to do past, present, and future this time, and your person, either your person that's coming in or the person that you're dealing with, whatever, or just whatever comes up, comes up. So, what do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? Look deeper. Something is hidden. Something is hidden. So, you need to look deeper. Something is hidden in the next seven days. There's something that you are not seeing. You're not seeing it. Maybe just looking at the surface. You need to look below the surface, okay? Maybe you're just looking at the face value of something. It's kind of like the tarot cards, okay? Let me just give you a little idea. What you see on the top of the card is not the whole picture. You have to look deeper. The message is deeper than what you see. It's kind of like those people that just read the books. This is much deeper than what's in the book. Scorpio, past, present, and future. Three of Cups reversed, hanged man, Queen of Wands. Temperance, King of Pentacles reversed, and Judgment reversed. Well, future. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Swords reversed and the Knight of Wands. So this is your next seven days. Now what about your person, somebody that you're dealing with? Maybe somebody that you're fighting with. It feels like you're fighting with somebody, trying to prove a point, right? Trying to prove your point in any way, shape, or form. Six of Cups reversed in the future. Ten of Pentacles, or not the future, your person, your person, Ace of Cups. Page of Swords reversed. So whoever you're dealing with is pretty happy. They're happy right now. They may be in love. They they are may be in some sort of commitment. Somebody is in a commitment. Um, may not be what you want to hear. We got the Page of Swords reversed. You may not be getting communication from this person, or they're not communicating very much. Um, this person may be somebody from your past. Could be a friend. Could be a family member. Could be a child. Could be an ex. It could be a lover. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is quite content with themselves. They're very happy. They're in a happy foundation. They're stable. They're solid. They're secure. And I feel like you're, I don't know if you're having a hard time accepting it because the page of swords is in reverse. That's angry, upset. And I feel like maybe they've told you something that you don't want to hear. And I feel like there's aggression here. It's like, I want to fight back. I want to fight back with this person because I see revenge in your future. The Queen of Swords reverse, that's revengeful, that's vindictive, that's bitter, that's cold, that's wreaking havoc. You know, I'm going to teach them a lesson. I'm going to teach them a lesson, you know. So I feel like you are, you've got this desire to teach somebody a lesson, to get them to see your point of view. Um, but I feel like this is not going to make you any friends, okay. It's not going to make you any friends. It's just going to push people away. Um, I feel like uh, you are going through a period of transformation right now, right now, as we speak. I feel like it's hard to accept some sort of change. Temperance, King of Pentacles reverse, and Judgment reverse. Judgment reverse is lack of acceptance, lack of awareness. Um, you may be dealing with somebody that uh, is not interested in a relationship. You know, you've been hoping for a renewal or you've been hoping for a reconciliation with this person. Looks like it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could also be another Scorpio <coughs> or a Sagittarius. 
But I feel like that Scorpio energy is yours because I, it's in your now position. Judgment reverse. It's a poor judgment call. Lack of awareness. Unwilling to accept. Unwilling to accept change. The temperance is a card of change. And I feel like you're having a hard time. It's like it's almost like, no, I want a reunion. I want a reconciliation with this person, you know. And I feel like you need to accept, you know, temperance comes after death. So I feel like you need to accept that something is over. There's a lack of reconciliation here. You need to cooperate. You need to work on your self-healing. You need to be practical. You need to, you need to be logical. You need to ground yourself. You need to manage your feelings. And I feel like right now you're having a hard time managing your feelings. I'm just going to be, I'm being very honest with you. I also feel like there is somebody around you that has said something to you that you really don't like. You really don't want to hear it. I, obviously, the Page of Swords reverse. It's like, no, nope, I don't want to hear that. And clinging to the past is very, very prominent here. Whoever you're dealing with... Um, maybe in a place of self-love they love themselves or they're in love with somebody else they have a they have a strong 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 foundation if you are in a happily ever after relationship you know i don't know what's going maybe you're stable maybe you're in a, you're the person that you're dealing with if you've had an argument with this person if you are in a happily ever after relationship you're married to this person or you've been in a commitment with this person for years okay if you are in a relationship that you have been with this person for years, and I'm not talking one year, okay, I'm talking years, then you may have had an argument with this person, but this person loves you very, very, very much. Um, but if you are single and you are waiting for a reconciliation with somebody, you are waiting in vain, okay? And I know that you don't want to hear that because I can see that. I can see that. But anyway, there's another woman here. There's another woman here or another man that you may be unaware of. Or maybe you're aware of it and you just don't want to accept it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to believe it. I feel like there's parting ways. I feel like somebody has parted ways with you with the first card out, three of cups reversed. There's a that, That's like parting ways from friends or family or a relationship. And I feel like, I mean, the hangman is, is uh, struggling because of struggling to gain a new perspective I feel like I feel like uh, I will not budge the hangman is very set in their ways nope I'm not gonna budge that's my perspective I'm not changing my mind that's my I think there's arguments over perspectives here okay and there's poor judgment you know and there's a need to let go of the need to judge and I feel like you wanting to prove your point is is causing people to walk away from you I'm just being honest and I know that's it's a really difficult message I feel like you are a very strong individual I think that people um, walking away from you has made you very strong I feel like you are a force to be reckoned with I think that you have a lot of confidence I feel like you are vibrating at a high vibration but I feel like you're it's almost like it's a it's it's uh misuse of power you know i feel like yeah i feel like you you have this vision you have this idea you have this notion but trying to push your views onto another person is part of the problem the hey man you know that's that's like a new perspective gaining a new perspective you probably are in the process of gaining a new perspective but i feel like you're you're very uh It's almost like sure. I'm so. It's almost like overly confident, and 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 confidence is good. Confidence is good, but it feels like it's almost overly confident because there's people parting ways from you. You know, the three of cups reverse is is parting ways. It's parting ways from friends or families. A lack of emotional growth. It's not happy. It's not happy. There's no celebrating. There's no reunion. There's no getting together. And I feel like it's in the hangman's about proving a point. It really is. It's about proving a point. It's about uh, struggling with change. And I feel like if you if you want uh, peace in your life and harmony, then you need to go with the flow and you need to do things with moderation. I feel like, and this is a time of transformation for you. I know that it is. I know that it is. I feel like um, in your future, you're going to be working with new people, but there's there's somebody here that may be wrecking havoc on your life. It could be even yourself. You know, I feel like you've received or you're going to be receiving some information that you don't want to hear. This is, this is from somebody that uh, is not here to... Uh, 
coddle you in any way. This person is just telling it like it is. And I think that it's really hard for you to accept. I do feel like uh, there's somebody coming into your life, but I feel like you have your guard up. I feel like there is somebody headed towards you. I feel like it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person has some sort of desire or attraction to you. They're coming in uh, out of nowhere, but I feel like you are not going to really give them a chance. I feel like you're not going to give them a chance. I feel like your guard is up. There may be some bitterness here. Um, you may not trust them. You don't trust them because of your perspective. It's like, no. And the, some of you are really, really, really clinging to the past. Really, 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 really clinging to the past. Um, and I feel like whoever that you're waiting on, it's like you're waiting for this person to change. You're waiting for this. It's like you're wasting time. The hangman is wasting time. Or you could be dealing with a Pisces as well. Or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, another Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Anyhow, I feel like you've been wasting time, waiting. It is waiting in vain. You've been waiting in vain. Highly confident, right? I mean, and this and confidence is, is good, but it feels like it's overly. It feels and, and moderation is needed because after the Queen of Wands is a temperance card. That's moderation. You know, you need to be able to accept when things are over. And I feel like you're having a hard time accepting that there is something that has ended because of the temperance comes after the death. So I feel I feel like that it's there's something you're not seeing. Look deeper. Something is hidden. Judgment reversed is lack of awareness. Okay. So I feel like I feel like you need to ground yourself. I feel like you're 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 you're, you're a little ungrounded. You're not being realistic. You're not being practical. I'm talking about the King of Pentacles right now. Now the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, that could signify the person that you're dealing with, but it can also signify your energy. You know, I feel like there's some sort of. I think that whoever you're dealing with is more interested in money and uh, financial uh, stability than they are getting together with you. This person is just looking for something to hold on to, something financial. And I feel like you're having a hard time accepting that. I do see you transforming, though, and maybe you need to get out there. Maybe it's time. Temperance is a card of timing for me. It's, it is. I feel like you, you've been working on yourself but you've really been struggling with letting go of some sort of thought that is in your head because the I thought the hangman's about thought you know I'm just gonna wait I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait and 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 it's in the way it's waiting in vain it's waiting in vain for somebody to change when you need to accept and allow that something is over so there is something here that is over, and I'm not sure what it is, but it, it it is definitely over, and I feel like you are waiting. It's like you're waiting for this person to wake up, right? Oh, they're going to wake up. They're going to wake up. No, they're not going to wake up. Judgment reversed. They're not going to wake up. <clears throat> I believe that... Uh, Three of Pentacles in, uh, in the upright in the future. That is teamwork, working together, learning new skills, work, sh getting creative. But the Queen of Swords reversed is like bitter. It's bitter and cold and unwilling, unwilling, lack of communication. I feel like there's somebody that you could work with, but unwilling I'm unwilling I'm unwilling to I'm unwilling to there's something to do with an ex here as well you know maybe it's an ex I mean it's an ex friend I feel like there's there's some sort of fierce competition here there's a need to compete you may be trying to compete with somebody <laughs> <clears throat> Queen of Swords reversed. That is somebody that is telling you something that you don't want to hear. And that's why it's the fight or flight. It's fight, fight. I feel like it's fight. It's like, you want to fight? You want to fight about this? I got to prove my point. I got to prove my point. That's going to cause a loss. It's going to cause a loss, a complete loss of a friendship to prove a point.
taking action without thinking. We have somebody here that is angry, they are bitter, and they're going to be doing something, and it's in your future. Oh my God. <clears throat> Three of Swords. Ten of Swords. Oh my God. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is as low as you can go. This is a low blow, doing something low. There's a need for forgiveness. There's a need to stop. There's a need to stop saying things without thinking. There's a lack of forgiveness here as well. Both the judgment card reversed and the three of swords reversed. You need to forgive. Somebody needs to forgive. You need to leave it behind. Leave it behind. Leave the pain. Leave the suffering behind. Work with other people. Collaborate with other people. Communicate with other people. Start communicating and working with other people. So this, I don't, this could be job related. It's like there's other people here that, can re, that will respect you. But it feels like you're not, you're so unwilling, so unwilling to budge and to gain that new perspective. Now, the hangman is about surrendering and let it go, let it go. But there's strong competitiveness here. Competitiveness is going to cause you a loss of friendship and a loss of respect. Eight of Cups, just walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. You need to, in the next seven days, you need to walk away from some sort of pettiness. Just walk away. Do not engage. You're the one, it's, it's almost like you're hurting yourself. You're only hurting yourself. Somebody is coming towards you. I don't know if there's somebody that is talking behind your back as well, or you're talking behind their back. I mean, it's in your future. Somebody is gossiping. They're talking behind somebody's back. Because they're bitter. Because they're cold and they don't, they don't care about the consequences. They're talking out of their own pain. This is going to cause people or a person to completely walk away from you. You need to walk away. You need to walk away. Do not engage. Don't do no don't don't engage. I feel like you're grieving. I feel like you're grieving over somebody leaving you and wanting to prove a point out of your own pain. This storm will pass. You're going through some stormy weather now. And the storm, I believe the storm is passing. I do. I think the storm is starting to pass. But I feel like you need to make a move. You need to move. You need to move in a new direction like that Knight of Wands. You need to, you need to travel out of the storm. You need to get out of the storm. Don't, don't engage in this in the in the in the storm don't put yourself in the middle of it get out of it get out of it temperance right now now now, profound self-healing is needed. Something has ended in your life. Allow, accept. You are going to be receiving something better in the future. But you have to be practical. You have to be realistic. Wake up. There's a lack of awakening here. There's a lack of awareness. You need to wake up. Whoever you're dealing with... There's somebody that you're dealing with that is probably not communicating with you. They're happy. They're happy. They're in a happy foundation. They're happy. 
They're in love. They, 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 they've mastered their emotions. This is somebody that you, I don't know if you have a soulmate connection with this person or what, but they're in the past. This is the past. It's the past, but clinging to the past. I feel like you are clinging to the past. I think you're going to receive a message from this person or about this person or you have already received the message that you don't want to hear. Page of Swords reversed. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear this message. You don't. You don't want to hear this message right now. Saying goodbye to suffering. Moving in a new direction. Some of you may actually be moving, but anyway. Um, act now. Think later. Stop wasting your time. Leave this situation. Work with other people. Put yourself out there. Communicate. Collaborate. Open yourself up. Open your heart. Open your heart. There is somebody that is coming. If you're single and you've been waiting for somebody to communicate with you and wake up, you're waiting in vain. There is somebody else here. It's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may make an approach this week. They may. There could be an offer or an invite that is coming. And this could even be a job offer, okay, for some of you. You know, if, it's, if this is job related, you are going to be receiving an offer or an invite from somebody that can help you to heal from this broken heart. Stop wasting your time. If you are in a happily ever after relationship and you have been fighting with somebody, this is, and you are with this person now, there you have not been in separation with this person, things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. If you've had an argument with this person, things are going to get better. Maybe somebody from the past tried to uh, cause a problem. You know, maybe this child or immature person tried to cause a problem. You know, they, they meddled or something like that or, you know, said something to cause problems and it caused an argument. Things are going to get better. Things are going to stabilize for you. There's going to be a change. Things are going to start to change. And I do think that your things are going to start to change for the better, even if you are single. There is somebody coming towards you that can help you to heal. But you have to open up your heart and let go of that pain that you have been holding on to from the past. There's something that is hidden that you have been completely unaware with, aware of. And I feel like it's... it's uh, Maybe, maybe it's that whoever it is that you're waiting for is completely happy. For some of you, you may be receiving a message from somebody from your past. Maybe they're going to tell you about you know, their new love or their home or something like that. You could, e some of you could even have a new start in love here with somebody that you completely don't expect. That could lead to marriage, and you're gonna be caught off guard. You are. Some of you. If, that's if you're single. You need to be open-minded. You need to be fluid, but you also need to be grounded. And I feel like you've been a little too fluid. I feel like you need to be grounded because we have the we have the Temperance next to the King of Pentacles reverse. The King of Pentacles reverse is not grounded, and the Temperance is is about being you know fluid and grounded. But this is not with the King of Pentacles reverse. It's not grounded. You've been. Too in your emotions. You need to manage your emotions and accept and allow things to, to change for the better because that's what's happening. You need to, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. You have something better here that is going to be presented to you when you have healed and when you have been decided to be open-minded to change but i see such extreme stubbornness extreme
Somebody may also, I don't know if you're a person, for some of you, I say you're in, some of you could, it, it may have reconnected with somebody from their past. This is in your person's uh, set, okay? Your person may be reconnecting with a soulmate from their past, and you'll be caught off guard by that. I do feel like you are going to be saying goodbye, but I feel like it's really difficult. I feel like there's some sort of serious pain over having to say goodbye. Good luck. <laughs> 